God. I have never been more confident in myself than than the age I'm at now. More confident in what I want, more confident to ask for what I want, more confident to say when I don't like something. I felt myself slipping into into these old kind of tendencies of placating my partner and I realized that when I was doing that it was it was the wrong relationship and being able to pinpoint that and realize it and tell myself no I don't want that I want someone who also understands that that there is a difference between implied pressure and overt pressure you know what I mean like I want a partner who is also emotionally mature enough to understand that there's going to be lapses in our relationship if it's going to be lifelong where yeah of that's course. just wow i love what you just said about implied pressure because i do think that so many men are like well i'm not that kind of guy like i would never whatever without thinking about the power dynamics and the larger things that are circulating your relationship or your sex life even if you love each other even if it's yeah. safe and especially i think in the bedroom that can be an issue absolutely and a lot of men aren't aware of it i think that what it comes down to is social awareness and empathy you need to be able to read the fucking room with your if it's just you and your partner in there read the fucking room that's true a lot of guys have zero social awareness zero situational awareness and that's like embarrassing for a chick they want a guy that gets it they want a guy that can step into the room read everybody, see what's going on and be like, okay, I, can, I understand what's going on in the room. I profiled all these people. And you have a quick psychological profile of people in your mind, looking at people, reading body language. But the thing is this, m women are more naturally better at doing that because it's a survival instinct. Like men don't necessarily have to be socially aware because if some shit goes down, we'll just fucking fight and, and you know, crack some skulls and get out of there okay. Woman doesn't have that advantage. But again, Instead of sitting there and shaming your partner and be like, well, he's just an idiot, so I got to fucking, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I just got to, like, get this guy out of my life. It's just saying, oh, no, like, hey, babe, you know, you missed this thing over here. Let me explain it to you, right? But no, that would require work. That would require, again, what Mia is showing the world is that she's just lazy. She's just a lazy piece of shit. Right? She's literally admitting to scamming people on fucking OnlyFans. She's sitting there getting paid $12 a minute for doing nothing. So when a relationship requires work, which guys, you don't get it. All relationships require work and you as men have to be the leaders of those relationships so that the woman can feel safe, vulnerable, and protected. Like this woman who makes $300,000 a month just said that she's desiring. Okay? That's why today's lesson is all about game. It's all about game. Okay, and you guys got to understand this stuff. Because if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to make it happen at all. Period. Consider your partner. Yeah. And consider them as a, as a woman yeah. and like what their experience has been. And especially for you as somebody who has a complicated relationship to sex in your body. I mean, yeah, I think you do. Absolutely, I do. And choosing a partner just becomes that much harder because I can see it from a mile away when someone's intentions are, in, are a little off. I can, I can feel the vibes from a mile away and I will go just nowhere near that. Just little red yeah. flag. And you're like, oh, yeah. I know what you're doing. Yeah, I can, exactly. And you know that that in a six months is going to be, it's going to be a giant red flag oh my god you're not going to see anything else <laughs> it's going to be the tiniest red flag immediately disqualifies people no again you, 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 you like that's why these chicks are in basically both of them are in their 30s and they're single because you're out there looking for the perfect person the perfect person doesn't exist the perfect man doesn't exist and for you guys watching the perfect woman doesn't exist okay and everybody settles to some extent all right, stop listening to these content creators out there who are like, oh, my relationship is problem free and I found the perfect woman and I've never had a fight in 15 years and blah, blah, blah. They're lying. They're lying. They're full of shit. They're fucking liars and they're conning you. They're full of shit. The perfect woman doesn't exist. Conflict is a natural part of a relationship. You're two humans with two separate like, perspectives on reality. And it is not okay to get out there and demand perfection from these chicks. It doesn't work. And you are setting yourself up for failure. And if you have a content creator that's telling you that shit, 
Stop following them. Stop watching them because if there's one lie, there's probably a myriad of lies. And you as a person searching for answers, searching for truth, looking for a fucking solution to your dating problem, you can't deal with people who are going to sell you these comfortable lives to make you feel better. Like, oh, my fairy princess is out there. Like, oh, yeah, look at me. I'm in my 40s and I'm fucking fat and I have no game. But yeah, I'm totally going to be able to have a fucking team of women in their mid-20s. No, you're not. You're absolutely not. You need to be grounded in reality. And that's what these chicks are not. Like, we're sitting here making fun of these chicks because it's fucking easy because these are two celebrities. It's hilarious to see how dumb these people are. These people are fucking revered by society. And they're morons. And they're, they got... So Mia Khalifa actually has two divorces under her belt. Emily Ratajkowski has one. And now the one thing she didn't like going on with her, her ex-boyfriend, the Sebastian guy... Cheated on her during the marriage, which honestly, if you're dating a high value man and you're a woman like that, bro, you just need to look the other way. I'm sorry. I don't care. It's not politically correct, but fuck. Like, again, people try to be politically correct. Politically correct is for the, like, literally the largest pieces of shit on this planet, which is politicians. And you're trying to be politically correct. Okay. If you have any logic going through your mind, you'd want to be as politically incorrect as possible. That being said, you're going to have conflict in these relationships. It's inevitable. It is absolutely inevitable. You need to brace for it. Now, if it's consistent conflict and the woman's not changing, and it's just problem after problem after problem after you're correcting, trying to get her back in your frame, she doesn't do, then you got to send her back to the streets because that's where she belongs, okay? She's 100%. She belongs to the streets. Streetwalker confirmed, okay? So that being said, um, stop believing these content creators tell you like the perfect woman's out there. It's not. The best thing, the best situation you're going to come upon is you're going to meet a chick who has not been ran through and who is young enough and who is willing enough to be molded by you to be formed into the good woman for you. Because a lot of these chicks, they don't know. They, these chicks want to be molded. They, don't, they say that they don't, but how many times have you been dating a girl? Guess what? Every girl that I date, every single girl that I've dated my entire life started working out and exercising because of me. Because my habits of success rub off on her. She jumps into my frame, okay? They stop drinking. They stop eating garbage. They start listening to, to podcasts that are beneficial to them. They start working on themselves, okay? That is them coming into my frame. And you guys need to be set in the same but when a chick's been ran through and a million dicks have been thrown down her fucking her throat and her ass and her pussy, you have a certain amount of damaged goods that are consistently going to be resurfacing problems in the relationship that are not going to be beneficial to you as a man on your purpose when your life is focused around money, muscles, game frame, and pushing yourself to become an upper echelon type of man, period.